Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. I want to start off by saying thank you to all of our Booster Club members for your many donations and much more your prayers. We visited faraway countries and strange lands. We've even spoken to dignitaries and were detained for spreading the glorious gospel in Cuba. The truth is that the descendants of the 12 tribes of Israel were scattered throughout the world. Help us on our journey as we continue to raise up the nation of Israel. 12 tribes worldwide. Join or donate today. Shalom. You come from the nation of Israel? That's the good. You're 100% correct, bro. What's your name, by the way? Rob, bro. Rob, my name is Nehemiah. Good to meet you, Rob. Listen to this, though, real quick. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. Bring it out. And now, Israel. Now, Rob, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? So what does the God require of you, Rob? Because you said you was an Israelite, right? And you also stated that they the chosen people. So do you know it's a responsibility that come with being a chosen people of God? We got to do his will. What's the will? Live like Christ? Okay, okay. Read this though. Give me, give me what the will is. Psalms 40. The book of Psalms chapter 40 verse 8. Bring it out. What's up, Rob? I delight to do thy will, oh my God. So he said the will, right? He said, the King David said, I delight in doing your will, oh my God. But now he's going to tell you what the will is. Read. Yeah, thy law is within my heart. Thy what? Thy law is within my heart. So that's the will of God. All the laws of the Most High God is His will. What thou shalt do and what thou shalt not. That's His will. And we as the chosen people are to carry His will out. You understand? So He said, I delight to do thy will, oh my God. Yea, thy law is within my heart, meaning in His mind. That's King David. This the King, yes, yeah, King David, a, black, a brother from the tribe of Judah. Now go to Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Listen good, Rob. Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12. Bring it out. And now, Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? But to fear the Lord thy God. You hear that, Rob? So it's something required of you as an Israelite, which is the chosen people on the face of the earth. Read. To walk in all his ways and to love him and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. So, Rob, what does that part mean? To serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. Uh, Read it. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Change. Because they remember, it said to love him, to serve him with all your heart. We got to surrender to God. Uh, we got to uh, somewhat, but that's a little too Christianity. You know what I mean? We're going to keep it biblical. Read. To, to walk in his love and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments. To do what? To keep the commandment. Do what? To keep the commandment. So this is how you show God you love him and how you serve him. That's his will. It's his laws, right? And to, lo and to love him is to, is to keep his commandments. To serve him. So this is what was required of you, Rob. I understand, but while I ask you one thing. Go ahead. What do surrender mean? Surrender? Surrender means to uh, pretty much relinquish all power to someone. Okay, so, but when you, but that's, it's too much into that. When you say surrender, so much can come up under that. But when you say the laws of God, when you say keep the commandments, that's concrete, that's straight to the point. Because a lot of our people out here, they, if you say that, that give them a loophole to now, uh, they can do whatever, you know, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little, uh, what's the image? What's them calling in that? Right, and then they'll be surrendering to that image right there, the image of the beast. You see that? You, you see the image of the beast right here? The Caucasian man that they call Caesar? I mean, that they call Jesus Christ? Right. We, our people surrender to that. But when we say keep the laws and the commandments, that's concrete and straightforward. Now, go ahead. Hey, hold on, hold on, Rob. I got one scripture. Bruh, listen to the word of God, brother. This is going to help you. That bus going to be, it's going to come 30 minutes later. 10 minutes later. Read. Give me, uh, give me Leviticus 21. Read this, because the will of God and the commandments of God is what we must do in order to keep the commandments. Read. Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. 
Bring it out. They shall not make baldness upon their head. Neither shall they shave off the corner of their beard. Hey, Rob, you heard that long? You better keep that, bro. This judge gonna come behind you. What's going on? Mike, good to meet you, Mike. Let me ask you. Yeah, Go ahead, ask me anything. I got the knowledge already, though, but... No, nah, hold on. I'm, I'm gonna speak to the mic and then we'll let everybody hear. I'm gonna let everybody hear the question. How is that it says oh, okay. God is within us? Uh huh. It's you ain't gotta the world. Like, we are God. Right. <laughs> so, with that being said, why are you preaching to say that God is somebody else? It's somebody else? I'm telling you that God looks like you, brother. That's what I'm telling you. No, no, no. He, he does look like me. Right. I, hey, camera. I look like a God. Hey, so what we doing is take y'all people who they are according to the Bible, God. brother. Right, we are gods. We don't need to justify we are gods. Read. Give me uh no, no. Give me Psalms 82. Psalms 82 and verse 6. Because you, you just made a statement, bro. And I'm gonna show you what you're saying is actually biblical. Read that. Psalms chapter 82, verse 6. I have said, ye are gods. What did God say? Ye are gods. What did the Bible say? Ye are gods. So yes, we are gods, but if, if, if we are gods, then why the hell we live like this? Look at our people. Look Bring at where out. we at on a, in Chicago. Damn Look at where we at in California. Look at where we at in New York. Are we people? are gods, but what else? Read. You got to listen, brother. Read. Read. And all of you are the children of the Most High. And we all are the children of the Most High. Read on. But ye shall die like men. But ye shall what? But ye shall die like men. But ye shall what? But ye shall die like men. Why if you are a God, you are not supposed to die like regular man. You understand that? Like What's your men? name? Okay, good, good why question. Great like question. Read. But ye shall die like men and why? fall like one of the princes. That's it. Excuse me. So he said, why do we die like men, right? Right, and we got. Give me uh First John 3 and 4. Because you said, why we die like men? Because remember, it said you are God, but you shall die like men. Now we're going to see why. Read that when you get it. First John chapter 3, verse 4. Read it out. Whosoever committeth sin transgresses also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. So we die like men because why? Uh, not give me uh, Romans 6 and 23. Weren't we born into sin? Okay, because listen. The Bible says brother, that? hold on though, brother. Hold on. So now look, listen, brother. This said, he that committed sin transgresses also the law. For sin is the breaking of the laws of God. All right? Now, give me uh, that, what you read. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Bring it out. For the wages of sin is death. So the wages of breaking God's laws is death. This is the reason why we die like men, because we continue to what? Break God's laws. God's laws is the power of us. Weren't we born in the sin? Doesn't that same book say we were born in okay, sin? Okay, yes, it does say we were born in sin, but what is it talking about? It don't mean, because look, if you look at King David, he was born in the sin, but we still what, have the kingdom of God right. at that time. You understand? Here's the thing. But it, that's Where did the King James Version book come from, brother? All right, brother, okay, I see what he's doing. He's going to jump around. Brother, look, here's the thing. We got to teach the Bible. Okay. You ask where did the book come from? Question, Give me a uh, song. Uh, what is that? I'm uh, asking a question, sir. Yeah, read like, that's all. Second Timothy chapter 3, verse 16. Read it out. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. I want you to hear, I want you to hear what God got to say to you. Because you said, you said, where did the Bible come from, right? We're going to read it, but you got to, you, you have to be patient enough with us to let us give you the answer. Okay? If you make a statement, let us give you that answer. All right? Read, read what you got. Psalm chapter 68, verse 11. That's it. The Lord gave the word. Great was those company of those that published it. Read it again from the top. The Lord gave the word. Great was the company of those that published it. So the word, this Bible came from the Lord. Who was the company that published it? So, uh, King David, Job, Abraham, Isaac, uh, Habakkuk. Those up. are the brothers who published it because the Lord gave it to him. He dealt with them, okay? But now, but to further answer your question, where did the Bible come from? We're going to read. This is uh, call, call and read when you uh, get the page. Read. This is the Sovereign Compact Bible Dictionary. Page 86. King James 
James Version. So these are the uh, modern day scholars. It's the King James Version. Read. Hold on, brother. I'll let him make that point, then you can speak. Read. When Elizabeth died in 1603, the crown passed to King James. I, who had been King of Scotland for 37 years. Okay. 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars. Mike, listen good. Read. 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars of the day were divided into six groups. Three for the Old Testament and two for the New Testament and one for the Apocrypha. So you hear what they, so it's took, so King James took, look, hold on, King James took 47 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars and did what? He authorized it to be written by them. He didn't write it, it was already written in a tongue. He just took it and let them translate the Bible. So okay? King James uh, is the same dude that owned slaves at the same that's time. Not, that's not true. Yes, it is. It's actually okay, where, where your facts at, brother? Well, look, where are your facts at? I'm reading from so historical documents, bro. The King James Version of the Bible actually came in the Constantine area. Constantine created the Bible. Constantine did not create the Bible. We are the nation of Israel, brother. Spirituality right. is what we were raised off of. What is spiritual? Spiritual is your uh, in being, brother. Uh, it's our being, oh, brother. Give me spiritual because you said what's spiritual. Being, I'm going to read this, brother, then I'm going to continue religion. to cry out for the people because you, right now, brother, you're not listening to you giving things and we giving you answers, brother, but what you have to do is take into consideration and look it up and see if it's, not, see if it's true or not. Because what you're doing now is coming off the top of your own brain. We coming out, out the Bible. We coming out, out of history and historical facts. These are documents, brother. You can look this stuff up. But you're not doing that. You trying to combat us with stuff you've been taught or fed through your slave master doctrine. We not coming with none of that, brother. Read. You said spirituality, we're gonna read. Romans chapter 7, verse 14. For we know that the law is spiritual. What is spiritual? For we know that the law is spiritual. So when you keep the laws of God that's written in his Bible, then you become spiritual. What laws are they talking about? We talk, give me one law in uh, uh, 1 law. Corinthians 3.16. Give me a law. We're going to show you some laws. Some laws you was just in the midst of breaking. But you got to listen good, Mike. These again, we're not coming off our, out of our words. This is words documented in the Bible. Read. 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 16. Bring it out. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God. Mike, don't you know your body is the temple of God? Read. No. And we that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you. And the Spirit of God wants to dwell in you. you it wants you to be spiritual. Read. If any man defile the temple of God, if any man take the temple of God and defile it by putting cigarettes in it, by putting pork, shrimp, crab, lobsters in it, by drinking excessively, read. Him shall God destroy. What God gonna do to that man? Him shall God destroy. What God gonna do to that man that defiled his temple? Him shall God destroy. God said he's gonna destroy you, brother, if you continue to defile your temple. That is a law in the Bible. Are you gonna apply that law or are you gonna come back with that? Is that common sense or is it not? No, it is. You know what? Is it common sense? Okay, read. I'm going I'll, let you, oh. I'll let you brothers talk. All right, go ahead, Mike. All right, thank you. Thank you for my chance to speak. Re speak. All right, so if our body is the temple of, of God, right? Yeah, it is. That's the Bible. So that means that we are, are gods. Not the we just read that. That means we are gods. But look, do gods do gods live like this? Bring it out. If you are God, would you live like this? Would you uh would you come? Yes. Would you be comfortable living like this if you were God? Teach out. You don't know how to. You don't know how to. A God don't live like that, brother. A God don't live. A God won't piss in his hallways. A God don't defile his temple. A God don't wear out sisters. Bring it out. You understand that? A God do what? He lived uh, like a God. And knows the ways and customs not God, brother. So basically what you said says I don't believe in religion. No. No. Okay. We're not saying that. Okay, so with me saying this, I know like in the Bible it says this, that you gotta have uh, Israelite religion. Brother, we not talking about religion no, no, no. up here. Listen, listen. I'm listening to you, brother. What are these? Fringes. Fringes. Yeah. Thank you, sir. So with that being said, I don't believe in none of that. Right, you don't believe you don't believe in the Bible then, do you? 
Okay, so then we out here talking to the people that do believe in the Bible. This Bible ain't for you. How you doing today, sister? Hey, you know you an Israelite according to the Bible? We out here to teach the Bible. We out here to get solutions to the black man. That's Look at how right. we live, brother. You talking about you don't believe in the Bible? What do you believe in then? You don't believe in nothing, brother, because look at look at how you look at how you live. You defiling your temple. You look look at how you living, bro. What is the solution to, to the problems that we living in? Okay. How do you do? You got kids, brother? Do you got kids? Let me say, does the Bible say Jesus turned water into wine? Brother, this Bible ain't for you, sister. Who are uh, who are you according to the Bible? We are to teach the uh, the people who who they are according to the Bible. No. Huh? You an Israelite, sister. You know there's something commanded of you as a princess of the power? It's you have to keep the commandments of God, sister. You understand that? That's what we come out to do and tell our people to repent. We are Who is the kingdom of heaven for? Is the kingdom of heaven for everybody? I just want huh? you to know. Give me, uh, give me. We don't have to believe in religion. Can you got this five one? Keep thy foot. Nah, I'm done with this brother yeah, because he don't believe in the Bible. We out here to teach the people who no, they are according to the Bible. We didn't Give me have John Bible uh, 16. We no, have, brother, you, you know no history, brother. You just coming up here stomping, drinking your ice house, brother. Because you, you don't, you don't, obviously you don't have any sense to deal with the uh, prophets, so, brother. So, so we gonna, this ain't for you right now. You inebriated, brother. Come talk to us when you sober up. Right. Used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.